Hi there, a little technical difficulty. I'll be with you in just one second. Can everybody hear me now? Yep, we can hear you. Okay, great. So hi everybody, good afternoon. Uh, thank you for joining uh, the state's first virtual job expo. We had day one yesterday, um, today is day two. Uh, my name is Melinda Bush. I'm the state senator from District 31. Um, so excited to be here um, and that you're taking advantage of this event to learn about transportation, distribution, and logistic jobs available in and around Lake County. So we've hosted a job fair every year since I first was elected in 2012. Sometimes we did two, one in Zion um, every year, and then we added one in Round Lake, I think four years ago. The past few years, though, we partnered with my good friend, uh, Congressman Brad Schneider, uh, who will take over the duties that I have um, tomorrow. Um, yeah, it's been a great partnership. Uh, because of that partnership, I think we've been able to reach a larger group of people out there and hopefully help more of you in, when you're seeking a job. So we knew that it wasn't really gonna be possible um, this year to, to do a, a job fair like we've done them in the past, um, you know, given circumstances related to COVID-19 but we knew that people still needed a, a job fair um, and we wanted to create this expo for the hardworking people of Lake County. Because due to layoffs, job shortages um, during this crisis, uh, I've heard from so many people um, who've said they've applied for dozens of jobs only to continue to hit roadblocks, uh, layoffs, um, you know, and those kinds of things because companies had actually not just only stopped hiring, but let people go. So today um, we'll hear from a number of companies ready, ready to hire hardworking people just like you. Transportation, distribution, and logistic workers move everything from people to company products through a range of transportation services. All of us rely on TDL workers every single day and probably don't even realize it. So like those of you who are on today, I look forward to learning more about the job openings that these companies have to offer. Um, so I'm going to give you uh, the companies that we have today. Um, we've got Amazon, uh, which I think most of us know what that is. They're a logistics company uh, who delivers items across uh, these United States. Baxter International. Uh, Baxter um, is an international Fortune 500 American healthcare company with headquarters here in Deerfield and local manufacturing campuses in Round Lake. Um, Schneider from Green Bay, Wisconsin. They are a transportation company. Uh, strategic Labor Solutions from Buffalo Grove, a contingent staffing provider, manufacturing, and warehouse employees. They focus on getting people back to work, and they have job openings with major manufacturers and, and distributors in North and Northwest suburbs of Chicago. And Durham School Services, uh, Beach Park, you know, they're transportation providers for our school districts. Um, and I know many of you um, have seen their buses, uh, obviously, across our county when our students um, are uh, in school. So I'm going to start off by introducing uh, Amazon first. So if you guys want to take it away, and um, again, welcome everyone, welcome Amazon. If you want to go ahead, Amazon. Hi. Yeah, can um, everyone hear me? Yes. Is that going? Okay, great. Um, hi guys, thank you um, so much for having us here. Um, my name is Sarah um, and my co-host is Amber. Um, we both work for Amazon in um, our staffing uh, department. And what we do is we hire for our um, tier one associates. Uh, so our associates who work within um, our buildings physically there. Um, so Can I get the next slide, please? Okay. Well, 
Perfect. So um, why work for Amazon? Um, this slide just talks about like uh, basically uh, what we do as a company. Um, you know, we are supported by um, innovative technology. Um, we launch, uh, we're launching a whole bunch of new around Illinois and around the company. Easy to make it. So we're dedicated to supporting customers worldwide. Um, all, um, not just through books, which is what we started with, but through no DAC and stuff like that. So you can go to the next slide, please. And Sarah, we would just like to let you know that uh, it's um, so of different benefits. If we bring in, I'm, I'm sorry, it seems like your audio is. Oh, okay. I am sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, let me see if I can just, is that a little better? It seems like it's a little better, yeah. Oh, okay, so, um, okay, wonderful. Sorry about that. Um, so when you come into Amazon as an associate, you um, start with benefits on day one. We do hire a lot of seasonal associates and Seasonal positions can last anywhere from 30 to 30 a permanent blue badge, um, including medical, professional, or regular. Those are some of the really cool benefits. I can get the next slide, please. And the different facilities that we, the different facilities we hire for um, range everywhere from our Whole Foods locations um, to our three stations and fulfillment centers. Many of the delivery stations, rather they're helping sort packages and stuff to get into the vehicles that do deliver them. Um, Prime Now is a really, really cool um, type of facility that we have that's more of everyday items. Can you go to the next slide, please? Similar to food, it's just a giant indoor warehouse. And then Amazon Air as well. So our closest Amazon Air location is in Rockford. Um, so that is one of our cool brand new locations. Um, they are considered a middle mile where we sort packages and get them ready for other places to go. So if you can skip to the next slide, please. So our Amazon jobs are very relaxed. Um, we have a super relaxed dress code where basically we just want you to be comfortable. So you can wear anything that is um, comfortable. I'm sorry to interrupt. We have about one more minute sorry. for this presenter. Um, I don't know if Sarah, um, yeah. I don't know if it's some connectivity issues, if uh, Amber might have a clear connection and want to uh, wrap up with the final minute or so. Can you try? Okay. Okay. Well, um, you can jump to the next slide. It does look like our internet is not working the greatest right now. Um, so we do have a lot of growth opportunities um, and good attendance. There's a lot of room to grow within Amazon. 
Um, and then the next slide, please. And since I have, um, and then you get, I, since I have such a short time, you can actually skip this slide. Um, we do, these are just more information about our growth opportunities within Amazon. Um, but this is some of the safety stuff that we're doing within our Amazon facilities to protect our associates. So all of our associates wear masks, they get their temperature checked every day, and then the, the um, facilities are disinfected every single day and clean. Um, and then we do have social distancing measures in place within place. Um, okay, so I, this is the fulfillment centers. Um, since I do have a short amount of time, I will tell you that fulfillment centers and Whole Foods locations are the majority of what we're hiring for right now. Um, F-O-R-C-E dot com. Um, and I will also have a flyer that I will be able to give. Um, um, so David, I know I don't have much time left, but so we can skip those last slides and I can answer any questions later. So thank you. Thank you. We will have the uh, Q&A session uh, later in the presentation, but I think we can um, move on to our next presenter. Yep. I just want to say, yeah, thanks, Sarah. Sorry, we really were having trouble hearing you. Um, so everyone got emails. You have all the information you need uh, to apply. Uh, so hopefully everyone will be able to do that. We can answer questions uh, later. So we're going to move on now to uh, Baxter. Um, and Baxter, I think we've got um, Lori Hubbard and Kendra Stackhouse. So if you guys want to go ahead, thank you. Sure, thank you. Can everyone hear me? This is Lori Hubbard. I hear you perfectly. Awesome. Thanks so much. So Kendra is my co-host. Um, we're buddies here on today's presentation and tomorrow's. I'll be presenting today. And if you all choose to come back tomorrow, she'll be presenting tomorrow. But it's essentially the same presentation. So this first, we just want to say we're very honored to be part of Illinois' first virtual job expo. Baxter is a global healthcare company. We are headquartered in Deerfield, Illinois. Um, in Illinois, we also have additional sites, um, including Round Lake, which is, uh, as Senator Bush had mentioned, is where our primary drug manufacturing takes place, as well as in Vernon Hills, we actually have Baxter Credit Union, and we employ a lot of employees there as well. Across the border, there's a short trip um, over to Bloomington, Indiana. If any of you have ever grown up there, have friends there, relatives there, we are always hiring at our contract manufacturing site there as well. So today I will be leading the presentation. Um, we are from the uh, Illinois talent acquisition team. Um, yesterday we covered the manufacturing job sector and today we're covering um, transportation, distribution and logistics, but we're gonna go ahead and highlight some of those key roles that we um, always are looking for at each one of our sites. Um, I just wanna say overall in today's job market, we know you have options and we hope you're gonna consider Baxter as a future employer. Next slide. We'd like to share with you first who we are and what we do. At a very high level, Baxter was founded in 1931. Um, we are a manufacturer and distributor um, primarily of intravenous therapy solutions, devices. Um, in 2020, Baxter has grown into a very complex organization with multinational businesses. We currently have a diverse employee population of over 50,000 across 100 countries. Each Baxter employee who made the decision to join the organization either very early in their career or later as a career growth move, share one singular passion, and that's that we all want to be part of bringing products and solutions to help save and sustain the lives of patients worldwide every day. Together, we design, develop, and deliver medicine, medical devices, and techno technological solutions to patients who at some point in their life may need critical, nutritional, surgical, hospital, or renal care, and then we also do deliver those products directly into the patient's homes. Next slide. 
At Baxter, this is a little bit, you know, I just covered who we are and what we do. Now let's talk about how we do what we do and how we know we're being successful. We believe it's important to have guiding principles on how you do what you do. We measure both our individual and our organization's success using the one Baxter Force multiplier. Our quarterly performance is checked and reviewed and communicated to all employees worldwide. Performance goals are measured across four main focus areas, patient safety and quality, growth through innovation, best place to work, industry leading performance. Our long-term strategy for growth is, is through strengthening our portfolio of businesses and extending our impact through transformative innovation. We carry out this strategy with ethics and compliance in everything we do. As you know, the FDA, um, all of the governmental agencies have tremendous oversight over drug care and drug delivery. Um, so it's very critical that we maintain ethics and compliance. We use culture levers in selecting our talent and developing talent into future leaders and senior professionals. We seek individuals who represent these four key culture levers. You must have speed. You must want to do things simplistically. You must have the courage to speak out and share your ideas. And you must be able to collaborate with others. Next slide. In addition to bringing your passion to Baxter, here's some more of what we can offer you as uh, something, uh, you know, that you can further your career. We go over, um, you know, we offer multiple benefits um, to both part-time and full-time employees, and these kick in on your first day. So here's a summary of what we offer to you. Traditional benefits, in addition, some uh, more creative benefits as well. Next slide. So now let's get into the meat of why you're here. Um, so we want to spend a little bit of time talking about our manufacturing plants in Round Lake and um, in Bloomington. We have drug, deliver drug delivery in Round Lake. The Baxter employees there are mixing drug powder into a liquid form and then they're filling IV bags through an aseptic process. Two of the main drugs that we manufacture at our sites in Round Lake are pretty familiar to most of you on the call. Penicillin or cephalosporin. That's what it is for it, <laughs> drugs. Um, so these are some of our current openings on the left-hand side in engineering quality and IT. Frequent openings we are always looking for candidates for are going to be, this is a great entry level if you've never had any kind of pharmaceutical background, manufacturing technicians, production technicians, and quality associates. Next slide. We have about one more minute left for this presenter. Cool, thank you. So in Bloomington, we continue in our um, operations there. We are contract manufacturer for ma many major pharmaceutical companies, and we have mostly openings on the off shift. Next slide. Patient delivery. This is what's key to transportation delivery and logistics. We are always looking for CDL delivery drivers and service specialists with a unique ability to interact with patients. You're not going to be doing high volume. You're going to be doing low volume patient uh, visits um, into, directly into their home, helping them get set up. These are people that are usually on kidney dialysis of some sort, and they require your help to keep them, you know, sustaining their lives and bringing them the products they need. These shifts for our delivery drivers are going to be either four days a week, 10 hour days, or five days a week, eight hour days. Most common shift is that 410 schedule, starting pay with two years of experience um, and a either A or B CD, a class B uh, CDL license is 2308 an hour. You must be obviously minimum requirements to 21 years of age, high school education or equivalent. Um, we do offer significant training, but you must understand that you're going to be traveling to urban and rural locations and entering into people's homes. So we do look for that person that can also kind of be that touch point and you may be the only person that they've spoken to in a long time. So these are our most common in, in transportation, delivery, and logistics. Obviously back in our warehouses and our plants, we're also looking for those logistics associates as well. Those are great entry level or if you bring experience, all the better. Next slide. And if you have a customer service vent, um, we are always looking for customer service pharmacy technicians. The great thing about Baxter is um, we'll go ahead and certify you. So we're going to pay for your training um, to become a certified pharmacy technician within two years. 
This is a standard Monday through Friday job, 9.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's very appealing to people who only can work the day hours. Um, you're going to start at an annualized pay of 40000 which is $19.23 an hour, and we also obviously accommodate overtime pay. We do look for those strong customer service people, um, looking for about that four years, six years of customer service, um, interacting, you know, being the customer-facing um, employee for Baxter. These people, you know, again, you're their first point of contact if they're having troubles with their prescription or need an additional order fulfillment. Um, and that's where um, this is a high touch interactive uh, position with our customers. All of our jobs are going to be found at jobs.baxter.com. And now we're just going to play, play a video. Hopefully it will work. <laughs> Valuing differences, what it means to Baxter employees. Diversity. Collaboration. Engagement. Better ideas. Business imperative. Inclusiveness. Uniqueness. Authentic. Enthusiasm. Engaged. Respect. Vital. Innovation. Foundational. Valuing differences creates an environment for innovative thinking. Diversity fuels completeness of vision. It helps us consider multiple angles so that we can make the right decisions. With collective thoughts, ideas, and diverse experiences that challenge the status quo and make a difference in healthcare. Our employees are as diverse as our patient population. So employees with diverse backgrounds and life experiences attack problems and create ideas in unique and different ways. So the diversity of our employees enable us to bring diverse products to patients worldwide. It allows us to truly form high-performing teams. Baxter does a fantastic job of bringing together diverse talent and accelerating their performance and learning so they can bring the best results to our customers, patients, and other key stakeholders. Valuing differences helps us make a difference in the lives of millions worldwide. Thanks for attending our presentation today, everyone. Yeah, thanks very much, uh, Lori and Kendra. Um, every time I, I watch, I, I look at the things that I could be qualified for, and I'm telling you, I'm pretty excited. Uh, no, great jobs. Thank you so much for being here again today. Thanks for being part of the virtual uh, job expo. So uh, now we'll move on to uh, Schneider, uh, again, from Green Bay, Wisconsin, but you know they are a transportation company all over the United States. So. Um, I think we've got Nicole Wislow from uh, Schneider. Go ahead, Nicole. Hi there. Uh, thank you, Melinda, and thanks to everyone for having uh, me here today. Uh, Schneider, as Melinda said, is a trans company, a national company, uh, working within a big contiguous state. So even though we're from Green Bay and this Illinois uh, Job Expo, uh, don't worry, we're still hiring there too. So uh, we are one of the largest transportation companies in uh, the world. Uh, Nicole, it sounds like your audio has stopped. I'm wondering if you're able to reconnect here. It looks like she might be having some connection issues. I'm wondering if while she's getting that figured out, it might be best to move on to the next one. Yeah, so do we want to go ahead and see if um, Strategic Labor Solutions uh, from Buffalo Grove is, is ready? Um, I think we've got Jacob. I'm going to probably say this wrong, Yakub, uh, and you can correct me when you come on. Are, are you ready, David? Or John, I, excuse I, me? No, that's okay, Senator Bush. I am ready. I, uh, my name is John Yakub. Uh, with strategic labor solutions, but you're closer than most were. So I, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Um, I, thank you for the opportunity to, to present today uh, as a part of the virtual job fair. Uh, I want to thank uh, the Job Center uh, and Illinois Workforce Solutions in Waukegan, uh, as well as Senator Bush and our host for the day, uh, and to all of you that have joined the job fair. 
um, as well. So I'm an area manager with Strategic Labor Solutions. Uh, we are, as Senator Bush said, a contingent staffing firm. Uh, we specialize uh, in the fields of warehouse, industrial, manufacturing, and I do have a base of transportation and logistics companies uh, in the northern suburbs uh, that we have close ties with. Uh, so hopefully we can find, um, have, find some of you your next job. Um, and you can go to the next slide, please. Perfect. So this is, Strategic Labor Solutions is a sister company to a larger organization called the Salem Group. Um, and the Salem Group has practice areas in, air, in administrative, engineering, professional, um, and then light industrial and warehouse through our division. Um, so this slide tells you a little bit about the Salem Group. Um, we are a certified woman-owned business uh, with a focus on providing uh, candidates from diverse and inclusive backgrounds um, to our clients. Um, and our clients here at SLS on my side um, include some very large employers in the northern suburbs, um, similar uh, to some of the companies that you heard on the call today. Uh, we support those companies by giving you an opportunity to join them um, on a temp to hire basis and ultimately build a long-term career with them. Um, and you can please go to the next slide. So these are commonly filled roles across all of our practice areas at Salem. Um, I will say that um, our focus at SLS is going to be um, all the way on the right side under strategic labor solutions, um, starting with CNC operators and then going down. So as you see, I mean, the roles that we fill um, are, they range from entry level roles, um, you know, on the assembly side and the general labor side, um, all the way up to skilled positions like machine operators, uh, forklift and material handlers, um, maintenance technicians and electrical assemblers. Um, what I'll say, if you, when I look at our open orders right now, um, it, the coronavirus really changed the mix of our clients uh, in terms of what's open and immediate. Um, we do have a lot of entry level opportunities for folks that are looking to get back into the workforce or that have suffered from, you know, um, that have suffered from the consequences of, of the coronavirus. So um, I, if you're looking for an entry level position on the assembly side, specifically within the medical field. Um, we have assembly positions, machine operator positions open on all shifts um, in the Lincolnshire, Buffalo Grove, and then Mundelein area. Um, when things get back to kind of a more normalized state, um, our clients include some very large technology companies um, and some very large medical manufacturers um, that are not specifically COVID related. So our jobs tend to start at around the $15 an hour range for entry level, um, and then go all the way up, um, you know, into the mid 20s um, and up for more skilled positions. Um, and you could please go to the next slide. So Salem has been honored to receive, um, has been honored with recognition um, um, from various organizations over, over the past, you know, I would say 10 to 15 years. This is some of the accolades um, that we've received um, at Salem. Um, including five-time Diamond Award winner for Best of Staffing for both client and talent satisfaction. One award that's very near and dear to my heart um, is uh, an award that was provided to SLS by one of our clients um, last year, and that's all the way in the bottom right-hand corner, that little diamond uh, statue there, um, is uh, uh, an award that we were uh, honored to receive by a Fortune 100 client uh, in Vernon Hills. Uh, for the best diversity supplier uh, for talent in 2019. Um, so you could go to the next slide, please. That is our woman-owned business certification. Um, a lot of the, <laughs> I'm glad you like that, Senator Bush. Uh, our owner uh, started Salem over 30 years ago, uh, and uh, she was an immigrant to this country. She built the company from the ground up, um, and she's still very involved uh, in the day-to-day -day operations of the business. Um, a lot of our clients choose to work with us for this designation because we have um, uh, a, a very focused approach in, in providing uh, diversity, um, diverse and inclusive uh, candidates um, to our clients. And I think there's one more slide. Perfect. So what I would ask you guys to do if you're interested in applying with SLS, um, there is an email address and a phone number um, in the bottom left hand corner of this slide. If you're looking for an entry level or an experienced opportunity um, in a warehouse or in a manufacturing plant, 
um, feel free to send us your resume and uh, we will uh, follow up with you very promptly because we have positions actively open. Um, and uh, we'll look forward to connecting with you guys. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Senator Bush, for, for hosting uh, the virtual job fair into Lake County. And uh, thank you all for attending. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much, John uh, Yahoub. Um, truly uh, appreciate you being here. And Congressman Schneider, again, just a, a great partner for us and, and his team and my team. They put so much working to put this together. And I'm glad that you're hiring right now. And I hope people do take advantage and contact you um, right away. So are we going to try and do we have Schneider back? Excuse me. Um, I am here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Okay. Yes. All right. So we're going to, um, we're going to try and switch back over to you. Thank you. Sorry about that. It timed me out for some reason and completely logged me off. <laughs> Okay, um, not sure how much you guys caught. This is truly just an introductory slide. So I was talking about it that we've been in business since 1985, 1935. Are you guys not hearing me again? Okay, um, so definitely a longstanding company. We work in the 48 contiguous um, states right now, so we can hire literally anywhere within there. Not only do we have the transportation positions for drivers, we also have logistics and warehousing. And if you could go to the next slide, please. Okay. Um, when we talk about more opportunities, we have uh, four lines of business for our drivers to choose from. There's gonna be the traditional dry van freight, which is hauling freight for a variety of customers across the country. We do have intermodal, which is very, very common in uh, your market there in Illinois, which is the rail yards in Chicago. So we always have a very high need for drivers that would like to drive intermodal. Uh, we're a chemical-based bulk tanker company, so if you have um, a desire to haul any liquids, this is a really great opportunity. One of the great things about it, most companies uh, require experience to be able to do bulk tanker. Uh, we do not. We will do the training for you once you have that license to learn how to drive some of those more specialty positions. And then uh, dedicated is a large variety of our uh, company where you're going to operate for one specific customer. So you really get to know that customer in and out and it has that more consistency to the route. So whether you're looking for variety or consistency, we're going to have it all for you. All my drivers can have a really great pay and benefits package. Uh, pay for a entry level class A truck driver with our company is typically between about a 40,000 to 60,000 gross income in your first year. And we have drivers that are up to 95,000 um, after they have uh, four or five years of experience with us. So you can definitely progress pay-wise rather quickly with the company. Uh, we have various home time positions. So Schneider used to be that long haul over the road company where you were going to be out four, six, eight weeks at a time. Uh, the majority of my drivers, over 80% of them are currently getting home at least once a week. Others getting home multiple times a week or daily now. Uh, we have a wonderful benefits package. Everything is going to be a la carte on the benefits package. Uh, so whatever you have a need for, you're able to get, even if you don't need absolutely everything. So medical, dental, vision, a really great 401k, paid time off, um, paid CDL programs. Uh, so definitely anything that you could look for with a company. Um, all of my drivers that are coming in are going to receive a uh, significant ongoing training and orientation with us. No matter how you obtain that license or what experience you already have, we want to make sure everyone is going to be the safest drivers on the road. So we do have that paid orientation and training. Um, and it is all job and account specific. So we're truly going to train you uh, for what you're going to be doing once you're out there on the road by yourself. Um, if I do have any uh, former military or current military, we have an amazing military program where you can potentially start at a higher rate of pay or take advantage of your own, your own personal educational benefits. We have a really great support staff. We are a 24 seven company. Uh, so we are there whenever you need it the most. Uh, but at the same time, we are also very family oriented. So we wanna make sure that our drivers do have that feeling while they're driving with us. Uh, you'll have one direct driver manager and a small group of support staff around them that you'll talk to probably about 85% of the time. But then we have full second and third shift to support you if anything were to happen on the road during those off hours. Um, wonderful core values that we base our company on. This goes all the way back to Al Schneider when he uh, sold his family station wagon to buy our very first truck. 
um, safety, integrity, respect, and excellence. Um, we want to ensure that we have the safest fleet on the road for all of our drivers. Uh, we don't want to make any driver ever feel like they have to give up uh, a safety option to be able to succeed in the company. Uh, it is 100% your call while you're out there. Next slide, please. Okay, so to get in the driver's seat, our website is schneiderjobs.com. There's a few different things that you can look at. If you don't have your Class A license, but you are interested in getting it, definitely take a look at our truck driving school programs or our potential CDL training programs and apprenticeships uh, that we do have available for Class A drivers. There's also that office and warehousing tab. So if you are looking for something outside of the driving world, we will have some positions depending on your geographic location. Uh, we do have uh, an office right in the Chicago market. Um, so depending on where you're at, you might see an office or warehouse position available to you. It's also where you would put that application right in when you're ready to apply to us. And you truly do get to pick what you want to drive with Schneider. We don't ever force you into a specific opportunity just because we have a higher need for it. We let you choose um, which opportunity you want and we'll talk to you as much as you need to to learn about it. So I know we have Q&A at the end, so um, I am all set. So thank you again for having us uh, here today and hopefully some of you guys are interested in a Class A position. Thanks so much, Nicole. Uh, really thank appreciate you. you coming back on and we had no trouble uh, the second time. So Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, and thanks everybody for bearing with us. I know, you know, this is new for all of us um, and uh, we're just really excited to be able to do it. So thank you. So we've got um, Durham School Services. I believe it's Tiana Hudson. Um, Tiana, if you wanna, uh, or if you wanna go ahead. Hi, um, well, thank you for allowing us to um, attend this virtual event. This is my first time doing a virtual, so bear with me. Um, but we have attended your job fairs in Zion in the past, so we're kind of excited about this. Um, so Durham School Services um, is currently looking for drivers and um, mechanic positions um, throughout Lake County. Um, we are located in Beach Park, Lake Villa, um, and Antioch. We have locations, um, all three of our locations here are looking for positions. Um, we operate more than 14,000 school buses and service more than 350 school districts in 34 states um, and provinces um, throughout the nation. Um, our parent company is originally out of the UK and that's National Express. Um, we transport over a million students daily. With COVID, obviously, you know, we have a lot of kids who are e-learning or virtual learning, um, but we are still transporting students. We do have um, hybrid and in-school um, attendance at various districts. So it just depends on the location of uh, the district that you work in. Um, our drivers are the most important role in Durham, and we have a strong commitment to getting our children to school safely on time and ready to learn. Um, if you've never driven a bus and do not currently have a commercial driver's license, we do provide free CDL training and then paid training that covers company specific information as well as the behind the wheel training. Um, so all of that will enable you to get a commercial driver's license with um, the appropriate endorsement to drive a school bus. Um, we heavily invest resources in employee recruitment and training because good employees can be hard to find and I'm sure everyone agrees with me on that. Um, we expect our employees to meet stringent selection criteria, which includes drug testing, background checks, um, and an extensive interview process. Um, this, this is a split shift part-time role. Our drivers are guaranteed 20 hours per week, but you may be able to obtain additional hours through charters and field trips work. Um, our starting pay is $20 an hour currently. Um, we have a comprehensive benefit package, which includes, um, it's an a la carte package, so you can choose what you um, need or want. Uh, we have medical, dental, a 401k, which we do have an employer match, uh, vision, also uh, employee assistance program that's free, um, and we have a free life insurance um, policy for $10,000 to all of our employees. 
and we do have paid holidays. Um, we have a competitive wage package. We do um, compare our wages to other competitors in the areas and uh, act accordingly. Um, we have part-time morning and afternoon hours, uh, very limited nights and weekends. Mostly those are field trips um, or charters, which is a private charter is what that means. Um, we offer training and development um, and career progression. I originally started as a driver uh, many years ago. Um, never thought I would be a full-time employee, you know, working for a school bus company. Um, and here I am, um, the general manager and hiring coordinator. So um, we do have uh, hiring opportunities from within. Um, we do a lot of community involvement. Uh, with both our schools and our communities, our districts. Um, but our bottom line is um, we just want to be safe for all the, the kids and um, everybody that we transport. Um, and that is really my, my whole presentation. And then it's just starting the video. I do want to say that we have only about a minute left for this uh, presenter. I'm not sure how long it's yeah, it shouldn't be very long. Here at National Express LLC, our drivers are the key to our success. We are looking for employees who act in a safe manner, serve as great team members, and provide exceptional customer service to all we serve. We devote a significant amount of resources, training, and development to our employees. Quite simply, we adore our drivers. ADORE stands for how we attract, decide, onboard, retain, and engage our talent. The search for the right drivers is paramount to our success because the best drivers equal the safest kids and passengers. I'm glad I'm doing it. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad I'm a part of this system that involves uh, keeping kids safe, me personally. So you've got to love what you do as well. So my answer comes from loving what I do. I love, it's like going into a store. You love oranges, I buy oranges. I love transportation and I love keeping those kids safe. It's dear to my heart. To me, that's the very most important thing to have tender love and care for our clients because if we don't have that extra care for our clients, we will not treat them right. And I think that's very important in training as well. And that's something I always installed in training, and let them know the first thing you have to have, you know, passion, you got to care, you have to have a heart. And if you don't have that, then you might not be at the right company, you know, because you got to have them extra care to help uh, with our client. Everything we do is graded on the performance of our front line, our drivers. We heavily invest resources in driver recruitment and training because good drivers are so hard to find. And my passion is that every driver is a professional. They're not a bus driver. They are a professional school bus driver. And what they have is a designation on their driver's license stating either they are a B or an E driver, and that makes them a professional. And they need to think of that every day. If someone says to, to me, uh, Elaine, what do you do? I say, I'm a professional school bus driver. We provide the most comprehensive training on driving a bus, keeping all our passengers safe, and how to provide top-notch customer service. Driving is very important, believe it or not. You affect people's lives every day, uh, many people, when you, when you drive a bus. Just a little thing can change their entire day and can change their entire outlook on life. So it's a service job. You have to enjoy helping, and you have to enjoy helping people. And I do. To keep our drivers engaged and satisfied, we focus on them as people. We enable all of our people to reach their full potential and to give their best as individuals and in teams. But the one thing National Express does is we don't just think about what you're doing here at work. We think about you at home in your personal life. Well, I'm retiring at the end of July. I'm 67 years old this week and uh, I've been working for Stock for many, many years. It's been the best job I've ever had and I'm really gonna miss all the people that I work with. So I may have to just drop in and visit people every now and again. We at National Express LLC do what it takes to increase our employees' overall satisfaction, commitment, and involvement in our company's success. Excellent involves going the extra mile, going out of your way. For example, uh, 
if I can, I will help pick up extra children. We had a number of routes go down this morning and they're asking drivers, can you help with this child or that child? And drivers were coming online and saying, yes, I can do that address. I can do that one. Do I need to pick up that child this afternoon? Do we need to cover the entire route? So the drivers are getting involved with the dispatch because we all have a tremendous responsibility here. And our goal is to be a team working together, helping where we can. So as you can see, we adore our drivers. We do this to ensure that our company's first priority, the safety of our passengers, is taken care of by the best drivers in the industry. Let us adore you. Come join us as a driver. We will ensure you are developed, trained, and engaged to ensure you are with us for years to come. National Express LLC is a leading provider in transportation, and we are ready to welcome you to our team. So um, thanks so very, very much. Um, we're gonna move along pretty quickly here. We're running a little tight on schedule. Um, thank you so much, Tiana. Uh, so we've got a couple of questions that have been submitted. First one is for Amazon. Um, for in-store Whole Foods shopping, how flexible is the $15 an hour wage? Um, so $15, can you hear me? Okay, good. Um, $15 is our starting rate for everyone in the company. Um, there are raises uh, usually every um, six months or so, um, but that is what we start at. Um, for Whole Foods, uh, there usually is not a shift differential, so there's usually not an additional um, until you stay to get a raise. Okay. Thanks very much for that. So um, Strategic Labor Solutions, we've got one for you. Um, how do we get in touch with Salem Tech or Salem Staffing Jobs with recruiters for those company work streams? Yeah, that's a, that's a great point. I did not include that in the, in the presentation. Um, can I provide uh, email addresses to Quinn? Yeah, if you can send that to Quinn, we will make sure to update that. Absolutely, I will, John. I will do that for sure. Thank you, Sharon. Okay, so hang on, I think I've got one more here. Oh, just a kind of general question, I guess, for anyone to answer. How have your companies adjusted during COVID? Um, will your companies be offering, offering virtual versus in person? I don't know if you can on all of these jobs, but it's a great question. Anybody wanna try and answer that one? I can jump in with what Schneider's been doing. Obviously, safety being our number one core value, um, we are taking every um, precaution that we can by opening up more locations for the training and orientation. Uh, but just recently now, believe it or not, you can do some of your training virtually for to be a truck driver. So there is a large portion of our orientation and training that is the classroom work um, and working with the simulators for us. And that portion we are offering virtually. Uh, and they can still come to our orientation location, but stay in their hotel and do it virtually so that if they do need assistance, they can come into the office, but it is minimizing contact for the new drivers. Great, and thanks. I just noticed that Ava um, put something in the chat that the Salem group um, is scheduled to speak at the virtual expo on Thursday, for those of you who had um, some questions or were interested there, thanks for that. So I think that we are at a place where, well, first of all, I wanna say thank you to the um, employers that were here today. I wanna remind everyone um, that all the information you need should be in the original email that you got, um, I believe today. So if you have any questions, you can always reach back out to either uh, Congressman Schneider's office, um, uh, which I, I'm sure someone can throw out a phone number in a second. You can reach out to our office, it's 847 Five four eight five six three one, and um, I wonder if someone can jump on from Congressman Schneider's office just really quickly to throw out your phone number. Or sure, this is Sarah with uh, Congressman Brad Schneider's office. I'm actually one of the caseworkers and legislative aides. I will put our office information, phone number, and website in the chat for everyone to to use if need be. Thank you so much, uh, Senator Bush. Thanks very much, Sarah. Great to hear your voice. And thanks for all the work you do. So um, we're going to move on to um, Ava Locke is going to talk about the Job Center of Lake County. Really, really important uh, 
important place. You ready? Yes, thank you. Uh, can everyone hear me? Yes. Excellent. Uh, I am going to share my screen. You should be looking at the Job Center website right now. Let me know if you are not. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know about the Job Center of Lake County. Um, and the best way to find all of our services right now is to visit our website, lakecountyjobcenter.com. The Job Center of Lake County is a one-stop shop. It consists of 12 state, county, educational, and social service organizations. The Job Center is operated by a consortium consisting of Lake County Workforce Development, the Illinois Department of Employment Security, and the College of Lake County. We're located in downtown Waukegan. At the moment, our office is not yet open, uh, but we, are, we have put together a um, portfolio of four virtual tools for you all. Now, when you visit our website, again, that's lakecountyjobcenter.com, you'll see a variety of resources on here. And before I visit our virtual tools, I do want to point out to you that uh, we have a robust social um, media uh, system. Please like us, follow us, um, whatever you need to do on Twitter, Facebook, et cetera. We post item, probably three to four announcements per day about events that are taking place in the, the area, either related to job search or just areas of need right now during this pandemic. Now, uh, I, we put together four virtual tools for you and they're all located or linked from this page. If you go to the top of our website and click on Job Seekers, and I just want to walk you through these very quickly. Wow, my computer is going very slowly. Um, Zoom, you know, crashed on Monday and that was just really fun. Um, but fortunately, the expo went off without a without an issue, right? Uh, so very quickly, I'm starting at the bottom here with our resources. We put together a job opportunities page with opportunities with local employers right now who say that they're hiring. These jobs have been vetted by our business service team members. If you go to the job opportunities page, you are going to see a link where you can upload your resume for consideration for an internship or employment referral by one of our business service team members. We also have a robust schedule or of calendar of events for job seekers, including job search resources during a pandemic, uh, your brand image and resume, and we have specific industry related workshops. Prairie State Legal Services is offering a variety of workshops related to legal issues that may um, be bothering your job search at the moment. Then we put together a uh, self-directed five steps to your next job. We've divided job search up into three, five main modules. And if you go into this area at your leisure, you can go through those five modules, watch video clips and um, go through our documents and handouts to help you to hone your job search. A lot of people launch into job search right away and if you haven't been looking for work in 5, 10, 15 years, it's a different animal right now. You're going to see how to really effectively conduct your job search if you go through those five steps to your next job. And then right here at the top, I always save this for the last, best for last. This involves dollars. So if you were kind of tuning out, uh, it's time to tune back in. Uh, under the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, or WIOA, we can fund qualified job seekers for additional training or an internship. We can pay for individuals to get pertinent training. Frequently, that's up to $7,000 in training. In some cases, up to $10,000 in training. To find out more, Click here for the virtual information session 
you will fill out a pre-screening application and we will be contacting you within 24 business hours with your next steps. Please take time to visit our website. All of our services are free to you and we want you to take advantage of these right now during the crisis. All right, I'm gonna pass it back to you. Thanks so much. And I think it's so important for everyone to remember that there are dollars available for training. Thanks for reminding everyone about that. Um, make sure to check out um, that website and take a look. Uh, really appreciate that. Just wanna point out that um, I believe Baxter put into the chat that um, currently um, their service positions are remote. So something good to know. Thank you very much for that. So I think that we've got next, we're gonna go to, excuse me, SIU to talk about Get Hired Illinois. David? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is David Garvey and I'm a content manager for SIU and I work with uh, Illinois WorkNet. Uh, I did wanna let you know that uh, today's session is being recorded and will be available on the employer booth page in our virtual job fair area for each of the employers who presented today. And uh, the links to those employer booth pages have been shared in the chat. Um, and for Get Hired, I wanna provide a quick overview of this website. Uh, this can be reached by entering illinois.gov slash get hired. And Get Hired Illinois is a web portal that has been designed to connect workers with available job and career training opportunities across the state of Illinois. And from this landing page, uh, job seekers can search for job postings uh, through Illinois Job Link, which is this page right here. Um, additionally, uh, the Illinois WorkNet virtual job fair tool is linked from this page, and that'll take you to the landing page here where you can see employers uh, in Illinois who are hiring, and you can uh, search for the different employers here and also view upcoming events um, in the calendar view here. Um, and uh, also on Get Hired, the online training opportunities, this um, will go to this page here, which Illinois has uh, partnered with Coursera to offer free online IT information technology training courses. And these courses are free to register for and complete. However, you must register for the courses before the end of September and complete the courses by the end of the year. And this page has more information about how you can access uh, those training opportunities. Um, and additionally, below here uh, for job seekers, there's a link to uh, apply for unemployment insurance, and you can access additional resources uh, for your job seeking process uh, with this button here. Um, and I'd also like to point out that all the resources we have covered in today's webinar are free to use for job seekers and uh, will be accessible through this Get Hired Illinois page uh, well beyond this week's events. Um, and with that, I think we will go ahead and close out for this afternoon. I do want to give uh, Senator Bush an opportunity to share any final remarks she may have. David, thank you so much. And thanks everyone for joining us today. I just want to remind you that tomorrow is healthcare. If you haven't taken a look at those opportunities, please do. Um, and there's still time to sign up. Um, and I just wanted to thank a few people. Um, first of all, Congressman Schneider, um, always appreciate um, the partnership. Working um, with his office is uh, a privilege and a treat. Um, you know, there are people you partner with that uh, it's, uh, it's just really rewarding and everything seems to get done and get done, in, you know, as best as possible. So I would be remiss in not saying thank you to his staff um, for the incredible work that they did. Um, in putting um, this job expo together. And also, um, I actually only have one staff working on this. It's just, you know, the way it is, you're, you're, I'm a, a state senator, so um, I don't quite have the amount of staff that those Congress people do. Um, they need them. But anyway, I just want to thank Quinn Wilter also from my staff. Um, this is something new for everybody, and she just really appreciate it very much. Um, at Illinois Department of Employment Security, we couldn't do this without your help. We partner with you every time we do these events. Um, and the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, uh, Job Center of Lake County, and Illinois WorkNet. Uh, thank you, everybody. 
I'm going to sign off. Um, again, you should have gotten everything in an email that you need. And if not, reach out to our offices. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the afternoon. Bye-bye. Thank you, everybody. Bye.